I started Pepstosia in 1965. The first structured thing I gave. I formed a new school fund. That thing is quite strong today. I only donated 10,000 rand and that was a lot of money for me. They, they, they sent quite a few people through college, university and so forth. The fund is quite strong today. It's about more than half a million strong, so it helps quite a bit. But uh, 10,000, it was a big thing then. My parents, you know, they, they, they made me aware of the need for other people all the time. No, we were poor, they were very poor, but they were always open-handed, you know. And they were giving, always, you know, they were giving whatever they had to share with people they shared. And uh, I think, uh, things stuck in my mind, you know. I drove from, you know, Nelson had a function of the night. And me and my wife, we went home. My other list, it was winter time, I think it was August. Cold and wet and windy. A few young chap children, they were in the door of Oki Bazaar's then. And under the newspapers. Well, I thought, this is so wrong, you know. Everything that triggered my, 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 say my conscience finally, or whatever it was. I had a farm up in near Riversdale. But then uh, they sent Erika Tron up the government and they said, no, you can't give it to the colored people because uh, it is uh, against the law. It's, it's a white, a white area. What the hell with you then? Oh, Erika will donate the money, you know. So that was the, the amount of 500,000 we're talking about here. I donated a, a house in Kilsiver, a children's house, children's home, get, the, get from the government and okay to, to, to form a trust, you know, to donate it through, to give it to the people. I formed this trust eventually, and uh, Chris Hinnis, who was, was uh, the right-hand man of P.W. Buta, actually, came to my office one day, said, okay, we, we'll, we'll see that you get this. We can organize this, this, this trust for you. If you, uh, if you donate to the government, uh, give, give them nets, give the party 12,000 rand. So I wrote a check. It was a difficult check, I've read it in my life, you know. <laughs> but, uh, they gave it to him in any case. So then they granted me the, the right to, to make the donation. You know, they, they, we supported, I think, supported something like 24 crashes. I also was in trouble once with the, the government uh, on account of the so-called coloured company, which they, I, you know, you had to form. You couldn't know and you couldn't invest together with colour. You couldn't take my colour as your partner in those days. But I lent money to the to the coloured chaps, you know, the people. No interest, no no strings attached, nothing, no. It was, they, it was their shares I gave them. You know. Better to give than to receive, you know, I believe in that really. I think it's everybody's duty and everybody's really privilege to give to you. you know, it's the position to give you, the position to give anything must give, you know, because uh, we are so well off in South Africa. The wealthy people that they should give, they should share whatever they have to share. So I think...